students this video might hurt you but in reality this might save your neat attempt as well because it's not like every student who doesn't score well in neat it's because of they are not smart enough the reason might be because they ignore the warning signs that you already see so and the reason behind that why they ignore is because they don't know that these are the warning signs so in this video i am going to walk through five important warning signs and if you have them then we will also discuss how to fix them in this video itself so starting with the first important thing that is you have a disorganized study routine right now what do you mean by disorganized study routine so let's take some examples might be no proper way of studying like you are jumping from one chapter to the other you are jumping from one resource to the another there is no fixed thing that you have there is no priorities of chapter there is no sequence that you have in your mind there is no plan that you have then even if you have plan what you do to manage backlogs and ongoing classes you either focus on backlogs only either you focus on only the ongoing classes but you don't know how to manage them right because that is important then skipping classes procrastination that i'll do it later i'll catch up later but this never happens right because you have other stuff to do as well right then not making notes again procrastination that i'll do this later first let me just focus here either you promise my yourself that if you are going to make notes after the class after the class within 20 minutes you have to make the notes right because after 20 minutes you will find it very difficult to make the notes that's the reality right then studying for 10 hours for one day you are fully energetic motivated then next day you are like i am exhausted i am drained right and you study only for 30 minutes to one hour right in your mind it is like i have studied yesterday but the consistency is not there so this is called disorganized pattern that you have to work on next is you have false confidence right false confidence is the biggest biggest uh, uh, hope that you carry right and that's what in the end right this shatters your dream now false confidence means that superficially you are learning the concept okay this concept i have studied this concept i have studied but you don't know if you know the core knowledge if you actually have knowledge about that concept if you can do questions on that concept and even if you do the questions you know very basic level of questions the questions that they ask you just you're just giving yourself a false hope and that i have seen that when i pick up questions in dna batch or when on youtube whenever i pick up some difficult question in the class students they just run away because you are yourself giving a false hope that this is demotivating demotivating i will not watch it only so whom you are lying to ask yourself right then not making notes and revising that means you are like notes you have firstly to you are not making notes only then you are like okay i have made notes now what you are doing is in the revision you are going again through the notes in third revision you are going again through the notes right for that you need to have a proper set that how to do revisions right revision doesn't mean that you will again see the theory revision means practice then see what is wrong that is your revision right then after all of this you are like i am the best right because i have done basic level questions i have attended the classes i have passively made the notes right you are in that false hope right but what happens here in that false hope what exactly in the neat examination you get the reality check so it's better to give the mock test where you have your competitors out there so that you can understand that where you lie and how much you need to work on yourself more next is you don't take mock test seriously same thing right you're like mock test is there sometimes you don't attend the mock test only right sometimes you are like okay uh, this mock test that is going to happen i have not completed the syllabus of that mock test so you just ignore that instead of trying to complete that syllabus that is going that they are going to ask in that mock test like in our dna batch we have after every two weeks we have the mock test in those two weeks if you have missed any session you have to watch the replay of that right because mock test is very important for that right if you're not uh, 
preparing for your mock test you are not enrolled into the mock test how you will get to know that what exactly is your level right now right so all these attempting mock te mock test but not analyzing that what you were weak in then too defended when score is low that okay that's not these kind of questions are not asked it's a random mock test this is right then if you score good then you are like oh my god i have scored good today you don't focus that where exactly are the points that you have missed is there any silly mistake you score good or you score bad you have to analyze right mark it in your mind then not giving mock test in test like environment you are not actually in the competition world right you are giving mock test and analyzing but that is not there with your competitors right then how you will get to know your level right next is all these things build up your a fake falls in your like mind and in the final neat exam you get the reality check right where you can't undo anything right so that's why mock test is so important for you that right now whatever good or bad happens it will happen now after this you have time to improve then in your final exam you will not regret that i wish i could have given mock test i wish i could i could have known this thing before about myself right you need to identify what are your weaknesses you need to work on them right now then there is unbalanced studying now this i have seen like in neat aspirants like to a great extent right because bio i know that i understand that's your favorite and we want to study something that is our favorite we all do that right but is it beneficial for your neat exam no if your physics is weak you have to focus on physics you focus on bio 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 it's good that you're focusing on your strong subject but you need to divide the time right you need to give more time to physics little more time to chemistry and you can say 40% time to uh, you can 30% time you can give to bio rest of the time give it to physics and chemistry because that is your weak you have to identify that you can't just be like okay this is my weak thing i don't like this so i will not study this that's not how it works last is weak mindset now mindset plays a very major role right why because we tend to self doubt ourselves that i am not good enough uh, maybe there is some problem in me maybe uh, i don't deserve to be a doctor right so, so ask yourself these harsh questions just just think about this thing you are sitting there there is some you are just looking at some child right small baby who is sitting in the corner just imagine that and his parents like relatives they are all scolding him that you are not good enough you are so bad you are not worth it this and that that kid is crying he is like i'm sorry i I'm, i'm not able to do this i'm sorry today was a bad day i scored less i'm sorry but still everyone is pointing on him you feel pity for that kid right then why don't you feel pity for yourself it's good to have reality check but it's also necessary to realize that you can't you you can't always start questioning your inner child like that you can't self doubt yourself so much there this is also your inner child that you need to protect and if you can protect that inner child your mindset will be good your mindset will be positive because mindset plays a major role in your exam when you know everything but you are in the panic state you don't know how to handle pressure that's where you stuck because you don't know how to handle pressure for that your mind your mental health needs to be good for that stop self doubting yes reality check is good but then after knowing that this is where i'm lagging work on yourself everyone has brain everyone can achieve whatever they want to if they want to you can't question your abilities but you have to question that am i like putting enough efforts question your efforts not your abilities please we all have ability second comparison is good that okay this is my competition but comparison to next level 
where you are defaming yourself again and again no see that okay this person is doing better than me let me see what this person is doing good what i am not doing right learn from the competitors right learn that what they are doing better than me and apply it rather than just watching the interviews apply it in your in your own life that will be great right so have a positive mindset that is mistake help me learn they don't say that you are you are doing mistakes so you are a loser no they help you learn feedbacks is valuable today is your feedback this is your feedback you know that if you have all five of them or if you have one or two of them you know that work on yourself is that my best work ask yourself can i do better than this can i do the answer will always be yes then i improve with practice more you practice better you will be then i won't give up and this is what i want you to write it in the comment section i won't give up and let me know in the comment section what is that warning sign that you have you know when you're watching this video you're like okay ma'am this is the thing that i'm doing wrong thank you for opening my eyes so what is that warning sign that you see within yourself and that you promise me to change that because i'll help you to change that write it down in the comment section what is the biggest problem that you're facing right now i'll definitely help you because we are here to guide you only guys right and let's be honest right if you have faith in yourself you're like i won't give up you won't give up but if you don't have faith within yourself then there is a question mark right and for that if you promise that yes ma'am i won't give up we have this batch for you that is dna batch all the things that i told you starting from ma'am uh, i am not ma'am good enough in my uh, uh, mock test mock tests are there after every two weeks we provide you mock test in real time right 2 to 5 pm uh, sunday there will be mock test where you will see that what exactly is your air what are the weaknesses that you have have you improved from the past mock test or not right then your reality check is on daily basis in every single class there will be quizzes in every single class leader boards in every single class you will get to know and that uh, passive learning will not be there because every time we teach we ask students a question and quizzes will be taken in the class right and that will get to know you will get to know that if you are not like participating in the quiz that means your leader board is very down you will never get to in the top of the leader board so that will be your daily motivation in the class test series will be provided to you modules will be provided to you for your practice dpps will be provided to you for your practice all these things are there for your practice and moreover we are also providing you these kind of qr cards in the batch itself right so you can see this over here right this is the in this video also you will see the same thing right so here is your dna batch 2026 click on here this is your view course plan so there are three types of plans that you have first is 499 where you will get everything that i told you just now then in your prime batch plus neat quick revision card that is for a uh, 5999 1000 extra and you will get quick cards also that i showed you here hard copy of this will be delivered at your home then you have in the third batch that is at 699 you have prime plus neat qr cards plus all india test series delivered at your home so all these things will be there in the batch itself you can get enrolled to here by clicking over here and you can say buy full course and according to that fill in your details and get in yourself enrolled into the batch because all the things that i told you here will not be repeated in the batch right because these kind of sessions are regularly taken in the batch itself and uh, personalized guidance is given to the students individualistic learning is there in the batch right and guys this is our telegram channel you can go and scan this and land up to our telegram channel so that you can get notified to every single live session that we take yes now write it down in the comment section i won't give up because this video i made specially for you right so that i can save even if one single aspirant will be saved here that will be great right so if you learned something out of this video if you are ready to uh, 
fix yourself, fix all the errors that you are making, then write down, I won't give up in the challenge. Right? Till then, bye-bye. Take care.